So finally, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 is now getting the latest One UI 5 update which is also known as Android 13. Lots of new features to talk about so we will keep the intro short and start the video right away. Okay, so we will start with the lock screen because it has seen a major upgrade. On One UI 5, you can now customize the items on the lock screen such as the clock and the notifications right from the lock screen itself. All you have to do is long press on the lock screen, unlock and you will see that the phone gives you a live preview of how the lock screen looks. Here you can tap on individual items to change how they look like and customize them. A new addition here is now you can resize the clock, make it smaller or bigger as per your liking. I actually prefer the large size because it is easier to read. Secondly, you can also change the font of the clock. They've given us a nice selection of fonts to choose from. Now this also changes the font of the clock on the always on display. So as you can see, the clock on the always on display has the same font as the clock on the lock screen. Lastly, you can also add your contact information at the bottom of the screen. And there's also an option that allows you to apply a filter to the wallpaper directly from the lock screen itself. And speaking of the wallpaper, they have also completely revamped the part where you pick the wallpaper. So now all of the wallpapers are properly categorized. You've got the pre-installed ones which are the featured and it also shows you a thumbnail preview of the photos in your gallery. And you can see they've also added a couple of new wallpapers. So the graphical and the colors are new. Kudos to Samsung, new wallpapers are always nice. So now everything is at one place. Absolutely no need to go into the settings to change items on the lock screen. Now coming to the home screen, you can now enable the option to show the names of apps in the apps edge panel. This is quite useful in my opinion because it will let you know exactly which apps are there. So to enable this feature, you will need to go to the edge panel settings. It's pretty easy. Just open the apps edge panel and then tap on the gear button. It's right over here. Under the apps edge panel, tap on edit, then tap on these three dots and here enable show app names. Now you will be able to see the names of the apps in the apps edge panel. Very useful. One more thing that's new to the home screen is now you can combine two or more widgets together by just dragging and dropping them on top of each other. So check this out. We will drag and drop this widget on top of this one and you will see both of them will combine giving us two widgets inside a single one. And you can even edit the stack by long pressing and then edit stack. From here you can remove or add more widgets to the stack. Awesome feature right? And just so you know, this only works with similar sized widgets, so you can't just drag and drop a bigger widget into a smaller one. The size has to be the same for this to work. So there you go. And speaking of widgets, they have added a new widget called Smart Suggestions. This is gonna show you a list of applications and actions based on how you use the phone. So based on the apps that I use, it is suggesting me Instagram, Gallery, etc, etc because these are the apps that I use frequently. Whenever you set a wallpaper, you might have noticed that the phone picks out the colors that are in the wallpaper and creates a set of color palettes which you can use as the system theme. Now, One UI 5 further improves on this feature and now the phone generates quite a few extra color palettes. So now you get a lot of different color combinations to choose from. And if you're not satisfied with the wallpaper colors, then you can pick one from a set of basic colors. As you can see, it changes the color of the font as well as many elements of the Android system. You also have the option of setting dual colors as the system theme. So I really like the improvements that Samsung has done here. Although I would like to see an option to pick my own choice of colors for the system theme. So that is on my wish list for One UI 5.1. Remember the calling screen backgrounds? One of the biggest limitations of this feature was that you could not set a different calling screen background for individual contacts. The same background appears for every contact on the phone. Well, One UI 5 takes away this limitation. And now you can have different calling screen backgrounds for individual contacts. 
So check this out. I'm going to ring up the Galaxy Z Flip from two different numbers and watch what happens. So this contact has my picture because this is my number. And this contact has a different picture because this is my alternate number. Awesome, right? So you will know exactly who's calling you. And the way this works is really simple. You will have to edit the contact for which you want to change the background image. Then tap on view more and scroll down. And here you'll have the option to set a custom background for that particular contact. One UI 5 finally brings the ability to add watermarks to your photos. By default, it's going to show you the model, but you can also enable date and time. To configure this feature, go into the camera settings, then watermark. So first off, you can change the model name. You can even put your name if you like. Then you can toggle date and time, change the font. Looks like there are three pre-installed. And lastly, you can also change the alignment. Also in the pro mode, if you tap on the camera lens selector, the phone is going to show you a little eye button which you can tap to see the usage scenario for each one of these lenses. So this is something that's new. Now if you go to the filters tab in the photo mode, you will notice the separate option for my filters has been removed. The feature to create your own filters from your photos is still there. So you can tap on the plus button and select create filter to create a filter out of your very own photos. As you can see, it takes us to the gallery. And obviously you can still download filters from the Galaxy Store. So both the features are still there. They've just made this menu a lot simpler than it used to be. This update also brings new gestures to activate the pop-up and split view modes. So number one, to make apps run in pop-up view, which is also known as the multi-window mode, Swipe in from the top right corner of the screen. And there you go. This makes the app run in this pop-up view mode. So let's make this thing full screen back again. Now the second gesture activates the split view mode. All you gotta do is swipe in with two fingers from the bottom of the screen. And that is going to activate the split view mode. And from this list, you can select the second app which you wanna run in the split view mode. So there you go. Amazing, right? Now these two features are disabled by default, so you will have to turn them on. So we will go to settings and then scroll down to advanced features. Inside the advanced features, tap on labs and enable swipe for pop-up view and swipe for split screen. Another new and awesome feature of One UI 5 is now you can choose the types of notification an app sends you to configure. Long press the icon of the app for which you want to select the notification type, then tap on the i button and then notifications. Here you'll see an option to configure which types of notification the app is allowed to send you. For example, we can disable the lock screen notifications for WhatsApp. So if I send a message over, you will see that the phone shows us the pop-up notification, but this does not show up on our lock screen. So kinda gives you more privacy. Alternatively, what you can do is leave this enabled and select hide content on the lock screen. So now the notification shows up on the lock screen, but its content is hidden. Meanwhile, all other notifications will show up as normal. Previously, there used to be one setting for every app on the phone, which used to hide every notification on the lock screen. So this is a huge improvement on how the phone shows you notifications. Also, whenever you open up the recents menu, now the phone tells you that there are apps running in the background. So what you can do is tap here and see a list of applications which are active and potentially draining your battery. And you can put a stop to them by tapping on stop. So this is a nice addition to One UI 5. One UI 5 allows you to assign different languages for individual applications. So check this out. You can see the language of the phone is in English because everything is in English, but Google Chrome is in German. So this is actually a new feature of One UI 5. Let me show you how this works. So to change the language of individual apps, go to settings, then scroll down to general management, then app languages. And from here, you can assign a different language for these applications. Right now, only Google apps are supported, but in the near future, I would imagine more apps will have support for this feature. 
they have also added a new security dashboard which consolidates all of the settings related to security at one place. And you can find this feature by going into the settings, then security and privacy. And this security dashboard will tell you if there are any weaknesses when it comes to the security of your smartphone. Extremely useful feature. Now let's head on over to the device care menu because there is a new feature I want to show you guys. So this update also brings something called maintenance mode. This feature protects your personal data such as your pictures, messages, accounts and settings from being accessed by someone else. It is a feature quite useful because you don't have to do a factory reset when you are sending your phone off for repairs or giving it to someone else temporarily. So as you can see in maintenance mode, the phone kinda looks like as if it is back to its factory default settings and nobody will be able to access your personal stuff as you can see the gallery is completely empty. But all your stuff is still there on the phone. But it cannot be accessed while the phone is in this mode. Also when you connect the phone to a computer when it is in maintenance mode, it will show up on the PC but all of your personal files and folders will be hidden. So no one will be able to access your data, it's as if the phone is empty. And any changes made in the maintenance mode will be automatically discarded once you switch the phone back to its regular mode. So let's do that. As you can see, it requires you to enter your biometrics. So only you can bring the phone back to its normal state. It takes a while to switch back, but yeah, there you go. Everything is back to normal. So you can use this feature if you are dropping your phone off for repairs or giving it to someone else temporarily. Now coming back to the device care menu, another new thing I've noticed is auto optimization. This is kind of a toned down feature of automation which is there on One UI 4.1 and it kind of does more or less the same thing. It will automatically optimize the phone and restart when needed. Also, I recommend that you turn the auto restart option on because it will automatically restart your phone and keep it in the best condition. Next, if you go into the memory tab, now you've got the option to completely switch off RAM Plus, which is something that I recommend doing on the Galaxy Z Flip because you don't need to use the internal storage as the system RAM. It slows the phone down and this phone has plenty of RAM to begin with. So now let's go to the settings because here you will see a new menu which says modes and routines. So this modes is a new feature. This automatically changes the phone's settings to match your activity or the situation. For example, I've got the sleep mode set up. It activates automatically at 1am and upon activation, the phone automatically changes some settings. Like it turns on do not disturb which is the silent mode, turns on eye comfort shield and power savings. And it will automatically turn off at 8am. There's also an option to set an alarm which I've already done. So this feature will also wake you up in the morning. And one thing I love about this feature is that it is highly configurable. Like in Do Not Disturb, you can choose which contacts are allowed to ring the phone up even when Do Not Disturb is turned on. So I've added two important contacts and moreover, I've also turned on a feature which lets the phone ring if a call is received from the same number more than once within 15 minutes. Amazing, right? And you can do the same for driving like it will automatically switch on once the phone connects to my car stereo and then this feature will automatically open maps. Now I am not going to explain each and every one of these otherwise this video will become like 30 minutes long. But yeah, you get the idea. So this is a super useful feature and I would urge you guys to try it out. Also in the settings, you will notice a couple of changes to the UI. Like they've added this new connected devices menu which consolidates all of the connectivity options at one place. And speaking of connectivity options, Smart View which is also known as screen mirroring also has a new option which lets you hide the notifications while you view the phone's screen on a TV. So this will prevent everyone else from seeing your personal notifications. Very useful. One UI 5 also allows you to create your very own stickers from photos in the gallery. So open up a photo in the built-in photo editor in which you want to add a sticker. Tap on the smiley face and go to stickers. Then tap on create sticker. Next, pick a picture from which you want to create a custom sticker. So we will pick this one. 
Now draw around the area which you want to turn into a sticker. Once you are done, tap on next and once satisfied, tap on done. And there you go. We have created a custom sticker from one of our very own photos. Oh, and there is also something called Bixby text to call. You can find this feature inside the phone's dialer, settings and here it is, Bixby text call. So this is like a text to call and call to text service. Basically, you don't have to talk to the other person. The phone will translate the call into text and you can type and the caller will hear an automated voice. Unfortunately, this feature is not available in English. It is Korean only. 안녕하세요. But the English version is coming soon in 2023. So whenever it comes out, I will make a video about it. Lastly, I wanted to see if they have added anything new for the cover screen. And unfortunately, no. There is nothing new when it comes to the cover screen. It's still got the exact same set of features like it did before the update. So they haven't really changed anything related to the functionality of the cover screen. Which in a way is good because why change anything which is working perfectly fine. Alright, so I guess that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching and hey, it goes without saying, if you have found this video to be helpful, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Tech Guy Charlie signing out.